Hello Techies, welcome to Microsoft Power Automate Tutorials. In this module, we learn three things. One, how to create a flow which will trigger manually. That is nothing but manual flow that we will create it. Second, we will learn how to create a manual flow with the inputs. And the third one, how to add a data to the Excel by using this manual flow. These three that we are going to learn it out. First of all, we'll see how to create a manual flow. Before that, if you see, in our previous sessions, we have used this leave form from the Microsoft Forms. I'm not going to use that. The same kind of thing that I'm going to create in Power Automate by using manual flow. That is the first one. Okay, and the second one is that we can see we have already created an Excel table over here. If you see the employee name, email, and the age. This is the table which we have created on Excel online, right? I want to insert the data by using this manual flow. How can I go ahead and do that in this session? First of all, we'll see how to create a manual flow. To create a manual flow, we'll go for the Create tab and click on that. And if you see, in our previous sessions, we have seen automated flow, scheduled flow, right? Now we are going to talk about the manual flow, that is instance flow that you can see triggered manually as needed, that we will call it manual flow or instant flow also. Let me click on instant flow or manual flow. Our agenda is that we are going to add a row in the Excel data table. That is our one, right? Now what I will give data to Excel. I will say in a such a format, okay, data to Excel and then there you can find a lot of triggers to this flow. You can see power apps and all these things. But now my agenda is that, that I have to create an input by using Power Automate only. So that I will select manually trigger a flow. You can see flow button for mobile. This is the option that which I'm going to select. And then I'm going to click on create. Now, if you see manually trigger a flow has been created. Now let me expand this by clicking on that. You can see the input add an input. Now let's assume what are the columns that we have. We can have email ID, employee name, and the age, right? The same kind of thing that I will give it over here as in forms, okay? If you click on add, you can see there's a lot of user inputs, right? One is text, SRNO, file, email ID, number, and date. Now, first of all, I'll go with the text that is for the name purpose. What is the input over here? I will give employee name. Okay, and this is in text format, right? That is one. Another input I will give it as email ID. Okay, it's already their email. Now I will go for the third one that is uh, within age, that is number. I will give it this one as age. Now we have created our flow manually, which will trigger manually, right? Now, after this, I want to add the data or insert the data into my employee details Excel file on, which is on online, right? Now, how can I go ahead? This is my triggering point. What is the action? That action is in Excel, right? Let me go ahead, let me click on new step. And you can search for Excel over here. And you can see Excel online. Let me select that. And you can see there's a lot of actions. We will talk about these actions in the next session in detail. But right now, I want to add a row, right? Add a row into the table. I'm going to select that. And you can see the location where it will save this Excel will be saved on OneDrive, right? Now I'm going to the, now let me drop this. And then I'm going to select one for business. And I'm going to give the documentary over here. That is also OneDrive. And now if you see the name of the Excel is employee details, right? The file name, I will go for the browse and you can see employee details over here. Let's select that. And you can see the table. When you drop down that, what are the tables are there in the Excel that is in the file employee details that all the names will be coming over here. Now we are having, that is table one over here. I'm going to select that. Once you got selected, that will be auto populated with the column names. What are the data that you want to insert, right? Once you click on employee name that you will get the dynamic content. You can see there's a lot of options or the properties that what we have. And you can see the same details over here that is employee name. This is mapping with this employee name. Okay, I'm going to select that. 
and email id email id i am going to select over here i am going to map one to one and the age i will do the same thing this is one to one mapping okay and then i have mapped all these things what it will say whenever you are going to give an input from the manual trigger that all the data it will map to the it will insert into the excel by giving employee name email id and the age let me go ahead let me save it now our flow is ready now let me go ahead let me test it now i will perform the trigger action because of we don't have any kind of data this is the fresh data that we have right let me go ahead let me select that and save on test now if you see over here what it is saying once you are going to click on run flow or save on test this flow uses the following apps a green check means you are ready to go yes it is going to be ready over here let me go ahead let me click on continue now if you can see the you can see the view over here that is how we have seen in the ms forms but here i'm going to use power automate by using our flow i'm going to give the employee name as myself amir and the email id i will give it my email id let us assume i'm just going to give an example amir.gmail.com and you can see the age over here when you click on age that you can see over here all the things minus 1 1 and so on and you can go ahead and you can give your age also over there and also there is some of the validity is also if you see i'm going to use amir directly what will happen when you click on the tab so if you see if you are not giving any kind of email id this is the validation also that we have you can see email that i'm going to just going to give as amir over here i have removed the extension over here at the rate of gmail.com what will happen it will throws a an error or required field valid you, you can see over here the email is required right i'm just going to give at the rate of gmail.com now once you click on tab it will again it will be you know the required field validator has been done successfully the validation has completed successfully now you can go ahead and you can run the flow now let me go ahead let me click on run flow the run flow has been successfully come started now to check it out go to the flows run page and you can see over here it has been successfully executed the test has been succeeded and you can see it has been taken only one second to complete it now let me go to my employee details that is online excel excel online now you can see the details like amir amir at the rate of gmail.com that email id and the age has been added successfully by using our manual trigger flow okay now let me click on done now you can see once you have clicked on done what will happen it has been executed successfully or not you can see the how much time it has been taken how much time uh, to insert the data into the excel that we have seen over here that we can see over here now where we can find this flow now go to my flows and you can see data to excel this is 3 minutes before we have created you can see the type is instant now if i want to run it i can go ahead and i can run it by manually that is i will click on run option over here and you can see again it is asking for the inputs basha i'm just going to give the names over here basha after the gmail id basha dot me basha at the rate of gmail dot com i will give some age over here 30 and then i will go ahead and run the flow now let me go to excel now you can see the basha basha at the rate of gmail dot com has been inserted successfully okay this is how you are going to create manual flow or instant flow by using power automate and also we have seen how to give the inputs in the manual flow trigger and also we have seen how the data is inserting and mapping into the excel thank you for watching microsoft power automate tutorials if you have any queries related to this concept please post them in the comment section i will see you in the next session till then bye bye have a nice day